Welcome to our Secure SDLC module. The software development lifecycle or system development lifecycle, also known as the SDLC, is a formal project management structure which describes the lifecycle of system or software development. It has been shown that if you follow a collection of proven practices for developing, designing, testing, implementing, and maintaining your proprietary software, you will produce a much higher quality product that is more likely to meet the needs of your users. You'll basically be balancing the security of the application with its performance and stability, and you'll be obtaining these goals from the very start of the project all the way through until the completion of the project when you deliver the software. This will help you to stay within your budget and to deliver a secure, functional product within your required timelines. Typically with software development life cycles, as you achieve one goal, a new goal will be set and the team will work towards that goal. It is important for the CISSP examination that you remember that the software development life cycle will be very beneficial to the design of your software and will help you to make sure that you're creating a secure solution. The Systems Development Lifecycle, or SDLC, is a design methodology for implementing information systems in your organization, and this method has you transition through various phases. The SDLC is a formal process for solving problems based on a structured sequence of various procedures. Security should always be considered from the very beginning of the project until the conclusion of the project, and that is important to remember for the CISSP examination. This process requires that you have a mandatory methodology to help you make sure that you manage the complex process correctly, to increase the probability of your success and to keep your customers happy, and also to make sure that you have a separation of duties where the code is reviewed by a different individual than the programmer who designed it. The Agile software development lifecycle is an iterative process based on feedback after each phase. The traditional SDLC framework consists of six phases. The software development lifecycle initiates with the Analyze phase. After the Analyze phase, we have input and review from the customer. We then move on to the Quote and Approve phase, and then to the Mock-up phase. After the mock-up phase, we would again have input from the customer. We then move on to the create phase where the software is actually developed. Next, we move on to staging and testing where we make sure that the software is functioning properly and again we ask for input from the customer to make sure that they are satisfied with the program that we've developed. We then move on to the release phase where the software goes into production mode. Once the software is up and running, we will move back to the Analyze phase if necessary, repeating the cycle in order to create updates or add additional features for the software. During the initiation phase, we determine if we're able to solve a problem that the organization is experiencing by developing a piece of software. In order for your project to be successful, it is important that you can define where you are trying to go and how you will get there. You need to determine what the customer wants and make sure that you carefully evaluate these needs and repeat it back to them to make sure that you understand correctly. You should also probe for additional future wants or needs because it may be easier to implement these as you're developing the solution rather than attempting to add them on later. Your job as the developer is to guide the customer to a total solution so you should make suggestions if you believe it is appropriate. You should evaluate their people, their policies, their hardware, and their entire environment to determine if your software will work to meet their needs. You should ask the stakeholder to provide you with stories or examples of exactly what they expect you to do. And you should design your estimates from the customer's point of view so that it is easy for them to understand. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, provides a Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC, as part of their special publication 800-64. Here the first phase is the initiation phase. Phase 2 is known as the development or acquisition phase. Phase 3 is the implementation and assessment phase. We then move on to phase 4, which is the operation and maintenance phase, and then the disposal phase, 
we will move back to initiation as necessary to incorporate new features or any other required changes. It is important to note that there are several different SDLC models and that there is no single industry-wide model that is used. Depending on the industry or the organization, one of several different models could be used. This concludes our secure SDLC module. Thank you for watching.